Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Trainer's Toolkit. Now this product is very new. It was released on June 26, 2020. It is a product I am very excited to get opened up. If you've been a viewer of my channel for some time, you know that I've been a collector of Pokemon cards for several years. But in the past several years, ever since the release of Crimson Invasion, I've been very into the competitive TCG. And this trainer's toolkit is everything you need to build a powerful deck. Now these trainer toolkits retail for $29.99. A friend of mine actually purchased this for me from a friend of his for $25. So I was able to get a pretty good deal on it. I think that friend of a friend purchased several of these trainer toolkits at once. And I was able to get a deal that way. But even for $30, this is a very good deal. So I'll get this item open up and show the box a little bit better. Get the plastic wrap off and avoid the glare. We'll see how sharp my knife is. Looks like I cut it no problem at all. This is almost a combination Elite Trainer Box tin, almost something like that. So there's a look at it without the plastic wrap on it. And on the top, you can see everything that you get on the inside. Not exactly sure how well the camera will pick it up, but you get more than 50 useful cars to power up your decks. Most importantly, two copies of the Dene GX, and then some very good trainer cars like Reset Stamp, Pokemon Communication, Pokegear 3.0, I believe a Boss's Orders as well, four booster packs, mainly newer sets, and then a bunch of other items to play the TCG. And that's another thing with this COVID-19 pandemic. I go to the Dork Den in Mankato, Minnesota. I haven't been there in quite some time. Just the public events are still not a thing. Hoping to get back into that. And I should be making some online TCG videos very soon. Not only some openings, but some battle videos as well. So there's a look at the top. I don't think there's really anything else too much to see on the bottom of it and you can slide it across like so i actually like this so it's almost like a bcw brand storage box and this is pretty cool looking you can almost do a thumbnail just with this so you just open it up like so it's actually pretty well organized on the inside so i'll take everything out and show it a little bit better let's see here so here would be the fire and poison markers i was going to say burn and poison markers that's more like it the coin flip dice and then the damage counter dice the four booster packs are actually pretty good two unbroken actually one unbroken bonds one sword and shield and then two rebel clash rebel clash of course at this time the newest set there's lots of energy cards. I believe 100. Look at that big stack. I'm going to keep these sealed just because I have a lot of energy cards in my collection. I believe you do get some special energy in there as well. I will be opening up the trainer cards just to show those. I'll be adding those to my deck. This is an alternate art Dedenne GX from Unbroken Bonds. So I'll open that up in a second. The card sleeves included, pretty cool. It almost reminds me of my gaming PC with the RGB lighting on it. Hoping to do a video on that gaming PC as well. This weekend, I'm gonna tear it apart once again. I bought six 120 millimeter Corsair fans, and then I believe they are the LL model. There is the online TCG code card. I know this is a hot item. Let's see, is there anything else in there? So there's two guides. So here would be the Pokemon trading card game rules. So that is a good way to learn the rules as well as play the online TCG. That's really the best way. And then there's the trainer's toolkit deck builders guide. I have done videos in the past sort of having a strategy for deck building. So that is a good one there. 
So now on to the pack openings. I'm actually going to save the trainer cards until the end. Hopefully I don't forget. So I will open up these packs oldest to newest and start it off with Unbroken Bonds. It's actually at the top of my stack. Oh boy. Packs are all, there we go. Unbroken Bonds. Mars Shadow and Machamp on it. Would love to pull a Reshram and Charizard GX Rainbow Rare out. That card is worth well over $100. This is a pretty good set overall. Dedenne GX is in the set like I mentioned. Welder Greens Exploration I believe is in this one as well. Let's see here. I have been getting better at sort of hiding the code card. I know that gives away what's in that final spot. Alrighty. First pack of the four starts with a Zubat, Coughing, Doduo, Poliwag, Spritzy, Fighting Type Energy, Eradicate, Triple Acceleration Energy, Fairy Charm Ability, Reverse Solo of an Oddish, just a common. Final card would be a Raichu. That's all right. I've opened up lots of Unbroken Bonds packs on my channel in the past. Would love to pull something from either Sword and Shield or Rebel Clash. Of course, the card I'd like to pull most from Sword and Shield would be the Zashian V, the gold-colored secret rare. I have pulled out a regular Zashian V from a pack before. So four and two for the card trick to move the rare and reverse hollow to the back of the pack. This one starts with Score Bunny, Sinistia, Maractus, Pikachu. Ooh, I can see a dark edge back there. That's exciting. Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, Fire Type Energy, Galarian Lanoon, Sea King, Ordinary Rod. This is an excellent trainer card. It allows you to choose one or both. Shuffle, shuffle up to two Pokemon cards. Excuse me, shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck, or shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Right on would be the reverse hollow. That would be just an uncommon. Final card, hoping for a full art or better. It would be a more Peko, and this is a V card. So not a bad pull there. This will add to the good cards from this trainer's toolkit. Just those trainer cards alone, plus those two to NA GX, is worth it. And I told that friend of mine I would have loaded up on these trainer toolkits for only $25 a piece. But I just put together that gaming PC, spent a little bit too much money on that. I really don't want to say how much I spent on there, but it was several thousand dollars. It is a top-of-the-line gaming PC, but I really went overboard there. The only good thing there is that... It should last several years before anything needs to be updated. So final two packs here would be Rebel Clash, and then I will show those trainer cards. Boy, oh boy. Right colored code card, that's for sure. That's the way to do it. Not bad at all. Four and two. Always hoping for a full art or better, but really a white colored code card pack. No complaints there. So this one starts with Vulpix, Coughing, Shinx, Galarian Yamask, Applin, Water Type Energy. Really do like these basic energy cards. Metacham, Pokeball, Pelipper, Reverse Hollow of an Aracuda. This would be a common final card. Rare Hollow or better. How about a Boss's Orders? Could be, it is a Colossal, so a Rare Hollow. I really do like the looks of the Rare Hollows from the Sword and Shield series of sets. They really do stand out. And it's been a while since the Hollow Foil cards from a set have stood out as much as they do in this series of sets. That is why I always mention Fossil and Jungle, two sets that the Hollow cards really stand out. So my favorite Stage 2 starter from the 8th generation Rillaboom, Rillaboom in VMAX form on this pack. Let's end it with some last pack magic. And for those watching during the premiere, thank you very much for watching. And any of you that have donated via the super stickers or super chat, greatly appreciate it.
All righty, so last pack, and then I'll show those trainer cards. Galarian Corsalus starts it. Toxel. Galarian Mr. Mine. Snover. Pidov. Metal type energy. Pelipper. Palosand. Milo. Reverse Hollow of a Nugget, an Uncommon. Final card would be an Electivire. So two good cards from four packs. A V card and then a Rare Hollow. I can show those two cards quickly and then get to opening up those Dedenne GX and the Trainer cards. Like I said, I really like the Rare Hollow cards. Colossal. And then there's the Morpeko V. There is a Morpeko pin collection box out there that I need to open up. And that's something now that I've returned to YouTube, I really need to get back into opening the products a little bit earlier. I do have some booster boxes for a live stream opening and I have pre-ordered Darkness Ablaze, a couple of booster boxes already, an Elite Trainer box. Very excited to potentially pull a very good Charizard V card. So here's a look at the little team bag or the cards in the plastic. I'll open it up here, let's see. Bear with me while I open it up. So, I'm gonna have to throw this right on my floor. This is my new studio down here and at my parents where I used to record, I'd have my garbage right there. Actually, they're my parents' garbage. And I just toss the stuff right into the garbage and then leave it there and they could deal with it. Now I have to deal with all the garbage and recycling and whatnot. So I'll just split this stack in half a little bit. Just quickly go through the cards and it does look like there are some special energy cards in this stack. So the energy cards that I didn't show, I would assume, would be the 100 energy cards. So here is the Dedenne GX. Like I said, GX Full Art and Alternate Art. And the price of these really aren't much right now. So it might be a time to scoop those up. Dedi Char Change would be the ability that makes this card so useful. When you play this Pokemon from your hand, onto your bench during your turn you may discard your hand and draw six cards you can't use more than one dead a change ability each turn and in the competitive scene because you can't play a supporter turn one this is a great card to use Molo and lana switch your active pokemon with one of your bench pokemon if only there was guzma in the standard format here is Pretty much Guzma, but potentially even better, Boss's Orders. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. And normally this is a rare holo from Rebel Clash, like I was mentioning. Pokegear 3.0, another very cool looking alternate art. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a supporter card you find there and put it into your hand. I use this to get to Welder more quickly. Quick Ball. You can play this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Fire Crystal. Fire type decks are very powerful right now, whether it be Reshiram and Charizard GX or something like a Baby Blacephalon. Put three Fire Energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Like I said, this is definitely worth it, this toolkit. I would have loaded up if I just wouldn't have spent 3000 plus on a gaming PC. Rare Candy are a great way to quickly evolve basic Pokemon into Stage 2. There's an Energy Spinner. Switch, an always useful way to retreat Pokemon for free. Tool Scrapper, now with the rotation of Field Blower, I know it has been a while, but Tool Scrapper allows you to choose up to two Pokemon Tool Cards attached to Pokemon and discard them. There's a Metal Saucer, a great card to use with Zashian V, attach a Metal Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And this just is a great proc to open up. I'm just getting more pumped up as I go through these cards. Just the competitive nature with these trainer cards and the Pokemon, and then the four packs, not only for a collector, but those sets are very competitive as well. So let's see here. Just lots more trainer cards. I can quickly go through these. You can always pause the video and just read the card. So Speed Lightning Energy is one of, I believe, three good special energy cards from 
Rebel Clash. You can potentially use it with something like Bolton V, Pikachu and Zekrom, GX, Topical Coco, Prism Star. So not a bad card there. There's Welder. Great way to accelerate fire type energy. Reset Stamp. I really like the looks of this card, the alternate art. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws a card for each of their remaining prize cards. Ordinary Rod. I pulled that earlier, I believe. Ordinary Rod. There's the Pokemon Communication. Is that one that I walked, talked about earlier? It might have been. So there's the Pokemon Communication. This is another very good looking alternate art. There's a Marnie. This is one of the better cards from Sword and Shield base set. Would love to pull that in full art form. Air Balloon. Turf Field Stadium. If grass type decks were powerful right now, this would be a good one. Vitality Band. Giant Hearth. Another good way to get Fire Energy into play. Twin Energy. Almost like a double colorless energy, but for non-V or GX. So it could be used on something like an EX in Expanded. Green's Exploration. A great card to use if your Pokemon do not have abilities. Tool Scrapper again. And then Aurora Energy. Not bad at all. A few more cards to go through. And Professor's Research. Professor Magnolia is a great card. Essentially something like Professor Sycamore. From when I first started getting into the competitive scene. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Welder again. Oh, skipped one there. Evolution Incense. There's that Speed Lightning Energy. Reset Stamp. Really like that. Fire Crystal. Boss's Orders. I'll take that any day. Man, I really... I'm kicking myself here. I should have really looked at the list of cards that came in these trainer toolkits and picked up a couple more. Wow. Marnie, a rare candy, Quick Ball, Pokemon Communication, just a beautiful looking card, Pokegear 3.0, same goes for that one, Switch, Metal Saucer, Aurora Energy, Ordinary Rod, Vitality Band, Twin Energy, Professor's Research again, Turfield Stadium, Energy Spinner, Evolution Incense, Giant Hearth, Green's Exploration, and then an Air Balloon. So there is a look at what comes in the Trainer's Toolkit. Now like I said, boy I missed out. I really should have bought at least four of these. I would buy four of these even over just one booster box if you are into playing the competitive TCG, especially in the standard format. This definitely is, like it says on the outside of the Trainer's Toolkit, everything you need to build a powerful deck, at least when it comes to the Trainer cards. Of course, you need some powerful attackers. So I guess to conclude this video, let me know what decks you'd like me to build and then battle with for my online TCG videos. I do have to get my collection built up again with Sword and Shield and Rebel Clash cards but then i hope when darkness ablaze comes out that i'm right on top of that and can get my collection going pretty quickly but i hope everyone enjoyed this video thank you for watching as always before you go make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video including links to my book you can find it on amazon if you'd like to support my channel and then you get a link to my patreon account as well and i Definitely thank those who support my channel more than just subscribing and turning on all notifications, but that is definitely more than enough, and I greatly appreciate all of those subscribed to my channel. So that will conclude this video. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.